Hello. This video is going to cover how to set up Blender for exporting content to Arma 3, primarily focused on weapons. In this tutorial, I'll explain how to install the Arma Toolbox, an overview of the features of the Arma Toolbox, provide you with the example file that I'll be using for my other tutorial videos, and an overview of the features that this example file has. The very first thing that you need to do is to download the Arma Toolbox for Blender. You can find this at freedomhq.org. I'll provide the link below. Once downloaded, you will have an archive that contains a zip file. You need to extract the zip file, but not the contents inside of the zip file, to a folder somewhere on your computer. Once you have the example file open, you're going to change from 3D view to user preferences. Once you're inside the user preferences dialog, you need to click on the add-ons button, and then in here, go back to the bottom and click on install from file and navigate to the zip file that you extracted to your computer. Once installed, it will add the Arma Toolbox to Blender and you need to make sure to click this box, otherwise it will not be activated. It is not activated by default. And once you've done that, click Save User Settings. Now, I'll be using both the Arma 3 Toolbox for Blender and the tools provided by Bohemia simply because I'm most comfortable using the Arma 3 tools provided by Bohemia in some cases and the Arma Toolbox for Blender in other cases. Now, the first thing you want to do here to, so I can give you an example of what the Arma Toolbox provides is if you click up here at the top menu and go from default to animation, this is the window that you will use to animate your models. And just to give you a brief overview, up in the upper right here, you have the camera, which gives you a, an, I want to say an approximation of the first person camera in Arma. It's not 100% exact, but I'll go over some of the minor details that you want to be aware of when we get to the animating video. Uh, over here, you have the main view, and this is where you'll be doing a majority of your animating. Down here, you have the dope sheet, and this is where you'll actually set your keyframes so that when something animates, it actually goes from one keyframe to another. And down here, you have your timeline so that you have an idea of where the you know, where you actually are at in your animation. But if I open this up a little bit more, I can show you the actual Arma object property. So. This has the Arma object properties already assigned to it. Again, this is the example file, but if you have your own rig and your own armature set up for animating, or your own object set up for coming into Arma, you want to select the object and then click Arma object properties. Now to quickly go over this, and again, this will be more, I'll go over this more in the animating video, but just for right now to give you an idea of why we're using the Arma 3 toolbox, is that this is how the magic this is how the magic works so if I had a full animation in here what I can do is I can sit there and add you know keyframes from let's say the first frame to the 170 frame every single frame and then it'll add a frame uh, animation that has 170 frames as you can see all the different frames here this down here, I mean, you can use it. Again, I primarily work with weapons, so I don't need to use this, but RTM motion vector is that if you wanted to make a different walk animation for something in Arma, yeah, you can't, you know, Arma doesn't work by just having an animation play while the player moves forward by mysterious forces in the coding. The move, the, the locomotions actually in the animation, so if you wanted them to move forward or up or jump or whatnot, you'd have to set that here. And yeah, I don't really know that much about it, but that's deals with you know like walking animations, jumping animations, etc. But this is these are the kind of features that are present here, and I'm sure 3ds Max has its own Arma suite, and I'm sure it works for people that uh, use that. I believe Toady 2K, you know, guy, great guy, he makes really good content. He's one of the very few people in the community that makes consistently high quality content uh, I suggest you go check him out uh, he I'm sure he has his own pipeline 
but these are the different kind of features that are available to us Blender users to, that makes it a little bit easier to create content for Arma 3. Now in this example file, you will be able to work on the model that you actually want to put into the game. You'll be able to animate not only the hand positions for the model, but also animate the reload animation itself. You will be able to work with the different materials that are present on the model to get, again, not an exact idea of what it will look like because Blender's rendering is different than Arma's and you'll see a more approximate idea once we get to Object Builder, but you'll be able to preview your textures in here. You'll be able to do any kind of UV editing that you know, your heart desires. You know, I'm going to be working with a model that's already done, but assuming that you're a good member of the community, you're creating your own content, or in the very least, you're modifying content that you have permission to modify. And then finally, you know, if you wanted to preview, and for example, you need to make the images that are in the UI and things that you see when you're in your inventory. Well, here's a 3D full view. I personally do not use the the normal blender render when I do my rendering. I always use the GS, the OpenGL rendering that just renders what's in the view because I go and set up the lighting so it's decent to begin with. And that's pretty much it. In the next video I'll be going over the kind of things you want to be aware of when you are putting together a model for Arma. But that's pretty much all that's available in the Arma 3 toolbox and what we'll be working with and the example file that we have here and I hope you uh, stick around for the next video because I'm going to go from I'm going to put this Kalashnikov this basic bitch Arma 2 Kalashnikov into Arma 3 and if you follow the videos and you do exactly what I'm doing you should be able to do it too